Hey everyone, Shiv Glani here. It's uh, exciting to be with you again. You may have seen my announcement earlier this week that I've returned to medical school at Johns Hopkins. And if you had stayed to watch through the end of that uh, webinar, uh, you would have caught the announcement around the osmosis.org founder diffusion and innovation prize, which I'm excited to tell you more about right now. So I'm gonna start sharing, sharing my screen. Okay, so I mentioned kind of what this prize is about, uh, but let me just give you the overview. Uh, you can go to ganglia.co uh, forward slash hashtag prize and email with any questions to connect at ganglia.co. Uh, this is a screenshot of what the page looks like. Make sure you go to the prize tab, not the scholarship, which we just wrapped up for high school students. And so the, the prize is, uh, there's two $5,000 US dollar awards that um, two people may get. We may also split the prize if there are multiple great winners, honorable mentions. Uh, we may wind up uh, awarding multiple winners. Everyone who submits a complete application will get two free weeks of osmosis. And frankly, as you go through the application, as you do different things, you may actually get much more free osmosis access. And then the ones who have the best applications who probably will win, um, we'll also get men mentorship and guidance, not only from me, but from members of my family uh, who are also successful clinicians and entrepreneurs. The deadline is, it's, it's open today. The deadline is Sunday, June 4th um, at midnight US Eastern time. And really anybody can apply um, because as you know, anybody, everyone can learn by osmosis. We have high school students, we have um, teachers, we have patients, we have family members, we have practicing clinicians. Uh, and obviously the, the bread and butter are current uh, medical, nursing, PA, pharmacy, dentistry, uh, physical therapy, and many other health professional students. And so I wanted to first give you a quick overview of why I love osmosis so much. So that this is the essence for this prize of why we're doing this. So since I'm going back to med school, I'm ending this chapter of having started and grown osmosis, but I want to see it keep growing because I believe so strongly in it. As you know, the vision of osmosis is to create a more caring world by developing the most caring people. So we all know because of the polarization in the world, because of uh, isolation, loneliness, et cetera, we need more care in this world. And what osmosis has been focused on is providing people first, the uh, understanding of how to provide care. So how do you place an intravenous line? How do you treat somebody with diabetes? What are the side effects you should watch out for if you give them this drug? So that's the logistics of care. But we also have gone well above that. I think we're the only health education uh, organization that really has focused in on the other soft skills. For example, how do you spread joy to somebody? How do you build relationships with them? These are all things we've done some training on and osmosis and have created content around. Uh, we even have content on how do you build habits? How do you yourself take care of yourself as a uh, current or future healthcare professional so you don't burn out um, because we need you. Everyone needs you to, to strengthen the healthcare system or raise the line. So that's the vision. And the big hairy issues goal is that we will educate 1 billion people by 2025. Our content's been seen over 285 million times to date. So we're well on our way to getting there. But part of why we're launching this prize is that I want to see that osmosis can continue to grow and get to this big hairy issues goal. And so the billion people aren't just medical students, but I'm going to start off with them. So if you if we actually go to my favorite page on osmosis, which is this world page, where you can see we have over 3.3 million people who've registered on osmosis. And you can just uh, watch this video where you can hear people who learn about osmosis all over the world. You can also just click on different pins. So for example, we have Farah Amoy at University of Alabama at Birmingham. If you click on my home country of Namibia, where I was born, Victoria talking about how they learn about osmosis too. And then a quick uh, segment from, again, one of my favorite collaborations I've done with uh, while I was running osmosis, was with Lamia at University of Damascus and dozens of her classmates all around Syria. So I'll just play the little section of this. So if you aren't familiar with the story, you'll get to be. Med school, free access to their platform. Soon after, the news spread all over the country and students from Aleppo and Tishrin universities joined us as well. And uh, we worked together translating all the videos into Arabic and providing the Arabic speaking audience with a reliable resource of medical knowledge. Thanks to Osmosis generosity, more than a thousand of Syria's future doctors have joined the platform, gaining access to one of the best online resources of medical education in the world. 
I feel so happy when I see someone from my medical school studying osmosis. I hope that with our strong education, we can provide the best medical care for the people of Syria. Thank you so much, osmosis. So we actually wound up publishing a paper with Lamia and another person in, from Aleppo, Basil, in The Lancet about this collaboration. And osmosis, if you've been following us, you know we're full of this. We, we love providing complimentary access to students like in Ukraine who are in need because of the war. Uh, and at this point, over 3,700 3, students in Syria have, have been learning by osmosis. So most people know that osmosis has reached students and future healthcare professionals. But I'm also very proud of the fact that we partner with so many organizations ranging from companies like YouTube. So this is Dr. Garth Graham, who runs YouTube Health, who said the team at Osmosis are experts at creating videos that make it fun to learn about even complex topics. Their approach to health education is truly making a difference. For example, you know, YouTube has been supporting our Year of the Zebra initiative, as well as all the work we did around COVID um, information and combating misinformation. And then Dr. Mark Triola, who is a very innovative educator at New York University School of Medicine, said, what we really like about, us, about osmosis most is their focus on curriculum, the modular nature of all of the content that they create, and the culture of really creating a partnership with us. For example, doing personalized education so that we know that at NYU, third-year medical students are right now learning about cystic fibrosis, so they're getting osmosis videos sent to them, their mobile app about cystic fibrosis. So... Um, We have hundreds of partnerships with schools, organizations that uh, then give us more leverage to reach many more students, faculty, learners, patients, and others. And that's a big part of the Diffusion Prize. And then again, one of my personal favorites is, and the reason I'm going back to med school is patients. Patients and family members also learn by osmosis. So by helping us diffuse, we're helping reach more of them. So this is an example of Bradley who said, uh, thank you for this. I've been diagnosed with ulcerative colitis for nearly 17 years and I'm struggling with it. This video has really helped me understand what I'm experiencing. Thank you. So as I mentioned last week, when I made the announcement, I'm going back to med school, or I've already come back to med school. Uh, the Diffusion Prize is really the focus is to help other schools, health systems, companies, partners, students, patients, and others also benefit from osmosis. Because while I won't be full-time working on osmosis, I want to make sure it continues growing. And then the Innovation Prize is to find those of you who think about the, the, the negative emotion of frustration and say, okay, rather than being frustrated, how can I fix it? How can I improve something? So I'm very interested in your ideas for how can we use tools like the generative AI tools like ChatGPT, among others, to improve osmosis, as well as to improve health education in general and empower our patients. So let me go back to the actual application and show you a bit of what you can expect when you go through it. So again, go to ganglia.co forward slash hashtag prize, or just go to ganglia.co and then click on the top right to prize. Um, and then you can see the application. There's a lot of information here uh, about the awards, the eligibility, the process as mentioned, and selection criteria. It'll be very clear to us who are the people who take this application seriously. It's long, it's involved, but it's worth it because in the process, you're going to get help a lot of people and also help yourself. And so if you go down, you'll see uh, we just ask for basic demographic information. Um, Here's an example where you can earn a lot of Osmosis Prime for free. If you go to the refer link and get yours, copy, paste it in, you can see personally, I've referred over 281 people with my link, which earned me over a year and a half of Osmosis Prime. Um, then I encourage you to connect with me on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm also on Twitter and then also go to YouTube. Uh, and then you can select if you're applying to one or the other prize or both. I encourage you to apply to both. We'd love to hear from many of you. And so then you can click next, just so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to go to a different screen and show you what the diffusion prize looks like. So here we give you a lot more information about the diffusion prize and what we're looking for. So the, the winners of the prize will effectively help osmosis spread via one or more of these ways. So some examples are, you may know someone, a college friend, a family friend, who is involved in healthcare or non-healthcare who needs training, who could benefit from either new osmosis videos or taking existing osmosis videos and repurposing them. So if you connect us to them with a warm introduction about why you love osmosis, why you think osmosis is great, you can send them directly to me and, and that's, that's the actual um, you know, ask here, is send them an intro to me. 
Uh, also, we're at over 200 medical, nursing, pharmacy, PA, dentistry, and other health professional programs all over the world. Many of those collaborations started with students and others, faculty, who loved osmosis, loved what we're about, and they made those introductions. So we'd love to love to bring it to your school, whether even if you're a practicing clinician and you already graduated, your alumnus, your alma mater would be a, would be a great introduction. Or if you're teaching at a new school, feel free to do that too. Another one is there's tons of grants and funding sources available, especially to early stage healthcare professionals and, and, and learners. Um, so for example, say you can apply for an innovation grant at your institution, your health system or your school, um, and you wanna do a, a, a series of videos on implicit bias or telehealth, feel free to reach out to us because we can partner with you to do that. And then um, also we can create and share group offerings, whether working with your student government or um, uh, you know, creating a group discount link or something like that. Happy to happy to do that. So that's the diffusion prize. It's very short once you get there, but really we're looking for quality introductions that lead to outcomes where we can then form partnerships and reach many more people. And then the innovation prize, again, you can read through this, but uh, the two big questions are, what are some specific ideas? And it doesn't have to be a lot of ideas. It could just be one really good one about how we could improve osmosis.org. In particular, I'm looking kind of I'm viewing this as like an artificial intelligence hackathon. So if there are things you're already doing to, to learn medicine, to empower your patients, to engage with your patients that are leveraging AI that you think could be used in osmosis, I would love to hear from you. Just message me on LinkedIn, submit this application, et cetera. Um, I invest in companies, I mentor them, I make introductions, I'm happy to do any of that. And then that's the one that's specifically about osmosis. There's also one about ideas for health education in general. Uh, so we can prepare and retain more healthcare professionals because of the massive shortage we have globally of healthcare workers and or empower patients. And then if you keep scrolling at the last section is just extra credit. You know, we like partnering with people who go above and beyond, who put in extra effort. And so there's various extra credit opportunities that the, the scholarship committee or the prize committee will look at. And then finally, just con confirming various things and agreeing to the terms and conditions. So again, I'm very excited about this prize. Uh, I'm hopeful that many of you listening <clears throat> will take it seriously, engage and benefit tremendously in the process. And I very much look forward to hearing from you. Thank you again.